Today's episode is brought to you by America's Best Unlimited Network. Don't miss a show with unlimited data from T-Mobile. Hello, Screen Junkies. I'm so excited to do another special Honest Trailer commentary. We will be watching The Lion King Honest Trailer with the director himself, Mr. Rob Minkoff. Welcome, Rob. Thank, Thank you for you. coming. Thank you for having me. It's I, awesome. It's this, amazing. Are you are you nervous? Are you excited? You I, have seen it before, I've heard. I have seen it. Yeah. No. I. I. I, I, I if I. You know. I. Of course, I loved it because I'm here. <laughs> so, <laughs> Fair enough. That's good. Uh, introduce. I'm Andy uh, Signor, Dan Merle, Spencer Gilbert, the Honest Trailers crew. Uh, that we did this. This was a long time ago, a while guys. Ago. Oh my yeah. goodness. Well, one of, I one of us, when everyone asks what's your favorite, this is always one of the ones I pull to. Do you guys agree? Yeah, no, the, the music and everything. And I think this was this our first Disney? I think it might have been. Uh, Fro it was Frozen was. Frozen and that the, counts. Uh, yeah, classic Real Disney. Disney. Yeah, classic, yeah, classic, classic Disney. Disney. Uh, Disney. But we're very excited because tomorrow uh, The Lion King comes out remastered in the special signature collection Blu ray digital combo pack. You can pick it up in stores. Go support it. If you don't already have it, go get it again. I hear it's got a whole bunch of cool new special features and things. Yes? Yes, it does. It shows some behind the scenes making of the movie, uh, me and Roger Allers pitching boards, singing Hakuna Matata. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. How much JTT does it have in it? Uh, <laughs> not enough. Not, not enough. enough. Yeah, That's always, always the correct answer, yes. <laughs> uh, well, well, we're going to watch in a second with you, but I'm just curious. Do you remember uh, seeing it or any thoughts of, uh, going in? I, I like to get a blind reaction first. Before oh, of we go. the trailer? Yeah, did you remember anything particular? Oh, well. Do you I, like, did you just, why are you a fan I, of Honest Trailers? Of course, yes. Honest Trailers are amazing. I, I, it actually, it, it, I think I would rather see Honest Trailers than regular trailers because <laughs> they really, they tell you what you need to know. <laughs> Right? They tell you everything there is to, to be told. So, I, uh, yeah, no, I'm a fan. Oh, thank you. That's very cool. How cool is that? That's, That's crazy. Fun, yeah. Man, Kuna Matata. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, let's get to it. Let's watch it. Now, the way this works is we will pause. <clears throat> if we want to ask you something, if you would like to challenge us or make a comment, you can pause it. Make sense? Yeah. Let's do it. A lot, a lot of requests. comments. Yeah. A lot of yeah. comments. Before there was Frozen relive the peak of Disney animation, followed immediately by its downfall. Oops. <laughs> the Lion King. Revisit the original tale of a royal heir whose parents die, prompting them to run away from their kingdom, then sing a song about letting go of their worries while things fall apart back home and return to defeat an evil prince. I knew there was a reason I liked that movie. Pause. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that I was going to say. Frozen crib this? I know. I, I think the, I, you, you, what you said already was that you had already, Frozen may have been the first movie you did, mm -hmm. so you had to Disney do it again. One, yeah. Yeah. It was fresh on the brain. Because I think they were putting Lion King First out Frozen, three, and yeah. then the Lion King. Then we'll do Frozen and Lion King, because, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's a double feature. No, I, I, it's obviously, it's a, I mean, it, that's a called, that's a backhanded compliment. Sure. So it's that's not fair. really a criticism of our movie. Oh, no, it's a straight it's up compliment. More, we're more yeah. calling out Frozen. Yeah, exactly. yeah. We're complimenting like, your movie. Yes, exactly. Yeah. No, I, I can't. <laughs> I, yeah, we, we were first. And I, I, know, I know the guys that made Frozen, too. So they're they're old friends of mine. Uh, Good so movie. I, did really well. They, they're yeah, doing did, fine. They, well, they, they, beat, they beat, you know, they, they actually did better than our movie. I don't know. Well, inflation. Well, inflation. 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 Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll accept that. Accept that, please, as you should. Uh, all right, let's keep going. Journey to Pride Rock, an animal kingdom with some incredibly generous borders. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. And its own version of New Jersey. What about that shadowy place? You must never go there, Simba. Where all of its African animals talk like they're British. I have a question. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah, please. Why does New Jersey have such a bad rap? <laughs> Have you Why? Been? Yeah, I, you've been. I actually, I, I have. <laughs> I've been to New Jersey. It's not so bad. Well, parts are nice. I lived. I grew up in Philadelphia, so yeah. we're, I guess I had a little bit of like anti Jersey Philly. Know. Isn't it called the Garden State? Yeah, it but is. there's yeah. there are pockets that are wonderful. There's a nice shore town. Have but... you seen the Jersey Shore? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I've see, I, yeah, well, yeah. You mean the the show? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But the let's talk about Snooki. the generous. What happened to Snooki? Is she still? She was on uh, Celebrity is, Apprentice. She's she still. Oh, there you go. She was. She's probably our next president. <laughs> she's, uh, yeah. Careful what you say. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, tell me about the generous borders, though. Is that did, did it, <clears throat> that it does? Were there any well, actual lion law you were researching? Uh, yeah. Yes, it's a very ancient uh, lion lion law. No, it's just you know it's kind of an idea, a metaphor. It's kind of know? cocky, like we have all of this. <clears throat> Everything belongs to them. But the lion's allowed. I mean, the lion is the king. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, you know the. Thing, the thing was is that there was no people, right? Because right. it's when we, we often talked about that. We're like, are people to people exist? Did this movie take place before mm. civilization, before humanity? Ooh. Possibly did. Mm. Yeah, that's what's your stance? You think possibly? I think possibly, yeah. This is before humankind? I think before, yeah. Wow. Okay, so pre-Jungle Book. 
Yeah, can the, is the Jungle yeah, Book yeah, in Jungle another book. world, you think? Are I they think shared? Jungle Book, no, I think Jungle Robin Book is Hood, later. talking animals. No, no, no. <laughs> We're not no, doing that. No Pixar other fashion. Disney <laughs> mind in your, and film in your mind is connected in this universe. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Lion King one and a half, is that connected? <laughs> Tangentially. <laughs> yes. Look, Found the only thing connecting it to other Disney movies is like the rest of them, it's reinforcing monarchy as a legitimate form of government. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Which I think in this, the world we're in, it's maybe a reasonable uh, case true. to be made for that. That's true. Let's keep watching. Evil British. It's to die for. Latino. Que pasa? Jewish moms. So, where are you from? Gangster. There ain't no way I'm going in there. Or CNN. Witness the What's birth it like? of yeah, what, was it? what was it? What I did the All Timon the one. I've listened to it several times. Jewish mother, Jewish mom. mother, <laughs> mom. Yeah. Jewish, mom, yeah. Jewish moms. I thought it was mogs. Oh. I was very confused. I'm like, what's a Jewish what's a, mog? What's a mog? I don't know. I've never heard of that. Mog. I'm, I'm a dog. Jewish mom. <laughs> what's that a... was actually, you know, that that was such a funny thing because you know you wouldn't expect necessarily people speaking, you know, with that kind of an accent on the savannah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it worked. You know, it was funny. Made it fun. Yeah. Made it fun. What's it like working with James Earl Jones? I mean, that <clears> recording <throat> session well, has to be amazing. Remember. Do you make him say funny Who things? You are. <laughs> you are my son and the one true king. Remember. Wow. Dang. I actually did. I did. I had to do. We actually recorded our voices doing scratch, and I did. Uh, I did Mufasa uh, before James Earl Jones did, and we came into our session, and I had done a line, and we put a little reverb on it. And, Said it's pretty good. You got to do it, and he was like, "Well, what's wrong with what's wrong with that?" And I said, "That's not you. <laughs> it's got to be you." No, that's like direct to DVD sequel quality, James Earl Jones, right there. <laughs> that's good. Thank you. Another back Thank, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I thought it was pretty that. good. That was good. I resemble that. Really. You could have totally right. It's, it's, what's that called when you fix in the ADR, uh, the sound oh, match, or the scratch? Yes, the, the scratch. scratch. Yeah, well, that's yeah, what yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did all the scratch. I'd be proud of that. All right, let's keep watching. Simba, an obnoxious know-it-all who rubs his privilege in everyone's face. My dad just showed me the whole kingdom, and I'm gonna rule it all. <laughs> Watch as Simba's life of leisure is shattered by his evil uncle, a lion who was either named Scar by coincidence, or he got stuck with a really mean nickname. Pause. Get we got, yeah, yeah. We got think corrected. About, clear that, that up. Thing. Clear yeah. that up. I, you know, I think it was a really mean nickname, pretty much. I mean, I, you know, we sort of, we always thought that, you know, Mufasa probably was the one who did it. Mm. You know, they were playing around. They were just kids. Mm. But uh, Mufasa took it a little too far. Mm. And then, you know. Just decided that to scar. call him that. Yeah, hey, you know. I mean, hey, Scar. You, scar. you know, he thought it was kind of endearing and, you know, nice. And, what do you think his real name would have been? Uh, no, that's, uh, nah. Larry. Hmm. Larry. Yeah, Larry. <laughs> Thank Larry. you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Trying to get some real Lion King facts here. Yeah. <laughs> this is canon now. <laughs> Scar's yeah, real yeah, name exactly. is Larry. <laughs> I think there was another name. I think there was another name. I think somebody it up, sent actually. us, yeah, there was some canonical thing in a sequel or a TV I show. I think so. Like, Scar's real name was, so it was a mean name. I think there was, yeah. there was, there was a, yeah, but it, you know, it was only 23 years ago that we right. made the movie. Yeah, right. I mean, but that's so mean. It's like, if, if Mufasa had, like, Injured his leg or something? Would it be like, hey, well, again, here comes Limpy. You know, yeah, exactly. It's what so about mean. Captain Hook. I'm sure yeah. he had a name before yeah. that, right? No, his name is James Hook. Yeah, they say that. I mean, I think that was just a coincidence. Wow, That's convenient. Yeah. yeah, or ironic. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it'd only be irony if his name was Captain Hand. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 And the hook was made of iron, so yeah. it's for yeah. a G rated movie filled with domestic abuse. I'm ten times a, king of a child raced by a same sex worst. couple. Not that there's a problem with that. <laughs> and the most traumatic death of a parent oh. since Bambi's mom got shot in the face. Dad. Ugh. Now I don't yeah, think I mean, we gotta talk about this. Pause. This, Bambi's mom this getting really shot affected a lot yeah. of us. This was our Bambi. Do you, yeah. do you want to apologize? Well, <laughs> I, you know what? Uh, actually, it's a funny. You know Randy Newman, the oh, famous I composer. Well. <laughs> so I, I, I met him several times. He, he doesn't. He doesn't actually know my name, but he calls me the guy that killed Mufasa. <laughs> <laughs> he says you're the guy that killed Mufasa. Like, yeah, that's me. Was there like, but how do you da how do you balance that? You just because I applaud it for its realness. Like I, I almost am glad I show my kid this because it almost is a way to introduce. Well, death. that's that's actually you know, I, but it weirdly <laughs> is. Why do you think that's funny? <laughs> that's not funny. No, um, but actually, no. When we finished the movie, that's when we talked about the fact that people could, you know, families could actually approach the subject in a way that was good, which is different than Bam because if you recall that she gets shot and then you never see her again mm -hmm. ever. So there was mm. no there was no closure, and there is with this. You know, I mean. Even even though he's, you know, trying to bring his dead father back to life, which is very sad, um, you know, he's 
it's it's actually there. He's real and and uh, and there were people at the time who didn't think it was you know appropriate for us to do that. Wanted us to put him back in the shadows, you know, and make it very sort of yeah, easier. Was, was it was there, was there a darker version or was that as dark as no, it went? No, no, I think it's just the idea that he would go, actually go up and and you know. But it's very real. I don't know. It was. It was. I think also for animation, you want to kind of go a little further than what's been done before. So, was do, you, it, oh, go ahead. do you think that bringing him not back, but having him come back as kind of a spirit guide helps soften yeah, that for a for lot sure. of people? I mean, undoubtedly, I think that that's actually the most important thing because you know he says. Mufasa actually tells Simba, if you you know you're paying attention about the stars and the kings of the past look down on us from those stars, and he says. He doesn't actually say, I will always, he says, I'll always be with you, but I'll be with you in the stars. So he's sort of trying to very subtly, mm. you know, let him know that things are going to happen. That's the circle of life. Um, but I think when he comes back as, as, a, as a spirit, and it was interesting because I took my son who's five years old. He's actually not even five. He's going to be five in, in a week and a half. Um, I took him last week to the El Capitan in Hollywood to see the movie projected on the big wow. screen. First time? Are First you... time. Never wow, seen the movie. Wow. And uh, and he turned to me when Mufasa's ghost was coming back and goes, "Daddy, is that his spirit?" I'm like, "Wow." I'm like, mm. "Yeah." And where did you pick that up from? Like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> is it weird how they pick? I have a five year old too. It's so weird how they pick it all up now. Yeah. But the movies and, help strangely get I you through so. some of those things and learn so. it. Yeah. Do you feel like Pixar is trying to one up that that Lion King death in their movies now with Up and Finding Nemo? I feel like they just uh, they're know, just it, constantly just killing, making us you cry. Got the yeah. tragic <laughs> moment. The tra- yeah. yeah, and the, the new movie. But I feel I like Lion all... King set it up for like now it's sort of a, <clears throat> a Disney staple. A thing. Yeah. Well, Disney always had. There was always a thing about losing a parent. You know, there's mm-hmm. sometimes it was usually there was never there was always one parent you know there was always a missing father or mother so there was always something to resolve something except to for frozen through. or rapunzel or <laughs> frozen <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, for one, they were orphaned. Yeah, they were orphaned. They lost both parents, I'm yeah. saying. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, they lost There's both. not always one. As well. uh, right, 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 right. Right. Uh, all right, let's keep going. <laughs> uh, Hakuna Matata? <laughs> so let Frozen go and experience the best music of any Disney musical ever yep, with unforgettable songs like the Be Careful What You Wish For song. <laughs> The Plotting Evil Stuff Song. So prepare because I am the bad guy. It's a Disney requisite. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> prepared for me to do bad guy things. Pause. The Pause. Is that your least favorite one? <laughs> Which, be prepared? Be prepared? I mean, I, look, they're all amazing, but I, if you had to pick out your favorite kid no, in this uh, soundtrack. Yeah, no, I wouldn't pick, that would not be number one. But we got to do some interesting things. I don't know if you you know noticed, but there's one moment where the hyenas yep. are, you know, goose Oh, stuff. yeah. That's, uh, when I was a kid, Pretty that was edgy. terrifying Pretty edgy. to me. Like, when I saw that, I was like, oh, that is, that is Yeah. Dark. Well, we just, you know, just wanted to go there and say, that, yes, they're bad. No mm-hmm. pushback. They're bad. No. No. Yeah. Uh, well, a little bit, but. <laughs> <laughs> this is hotly debated, because when we did The Little Mermaid, we even went a little further with Ursula's song and said, like, hey, you can skip that one. Uh, <laughs> uh, but there were, that ignited a lot of debate, because there were some people that were like, yeah, you know, the bad guy song. Some people were like, no, the bad guy songs are my favorite songs. Sure, mm-hmm. sure, sure, sure. I actually worked on on that uh, in Little Mermaid, the because I designed on, Ursula. Oh, that wow. Was one, that was you my, worked on the song, too? I did, and I I brought in an a-, a friend who was an actor that I knew from Cal Arts, where I went to school, uh, to dress in a, dress up. So he was a man dressed as a woman, which was kind of the whole gestalt of the character. Yeah. He was a kind of a drag queen. Uh, and then we we rec- we actually filmed his performance doing doing. Uh, uh, Poor unfortunate soul. Yeah, that oh. song is all about the performance. It's such a wonderful performance. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I do like that song. All right, let's see what else we sung. To distract kids from the horrific death they just saw. I went through trauma at a very young age. Don't get down the street. They just killed my dad. Forget all that. An African catchphrase. Honest. The is slow it, oh, you kind of have to. You kind of have to. Do, Were there other catchphrases, or was that always in there? Oh, yeah, pause. pause. That, that was actually no. That was this not the first version of the song. There was another song, and then this was written afterwards because you know because we had that African cash fridge we had to use because yeah. it was so good that nobody knew. And what's so crazy is that since the movie came out, everybody everybody knows what that means. Mm-hmm. You can't go anywhere in the world without somebody knowing Hakuna Matata. Yeah. And in fact, I, I just saw this great thing from the uh, the, the Stark sisters uh, uh, from Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, if you're sure. a fan, I'm a big fan, and of they course. they do this sort of funny take on Hakuna Matata as 
Oh, was it in the carpool karaoke? Yes. yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very, I was going to say, I don't remember him saying that in the Sorry, show. Sorry, I didn't need to be plugging another, <laughs> no, another show. That. No, that's fine. But, but it was show. really funny. I was you playing the finale in my head. I was like, I don't what remember that. What part of Game that? of Thrones yeah. did they do? <laughs> <Hakuna Matata. laughs> they were great last night, by the way. Anyway, yeah. there's no spoilers here. Yeah. Uh, let's see what was next. Oh, the Slow yeah. Jam. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Another Disney favorite. <laughs> It's not a reference to Chumba. <laughs> no. <laughs> but now it's time to pause. Now look at those. Pause. Pause. Uh, that is doomy eyes. Yes. <laughs> that has become a meme. Yeah. yeah. Like, was, there, was there ever like, that's a little too, too sexy. sexy. Uh, <laughs> you know, we, we was, it's so funny because, again, you know, when we, when we did the song the first time, we actually tried to do something that was really not a love song. So we had Timon and Pupa sing the whole song. And it was sort of a comedy send up. And then we played it for Elton and he hated it. He was like, what have you done? You've ruined my song. <laughs> so we ran back to Glendale, swear to God. And we, we had to redo the whole thing. And then we, you know, we just like, because Elton said, I, the, one of the reasons he did the movie was to write a great Disney romantic ballad. So we're like, okay, we're going to go for it. Mm. We're going to do the Doomy Eyes. Nathan Lanier and Isabella didn't do that for him? Wow. Come on. <laughs> They're funny. They're great. Um, yeah, but this, this was, there was never a thought of too sexy. <laughs> uh, you know, she actually in the next scene she actually licks him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. What's the point yeah. across? Yeah, you know, yeah. You know. All right, it's not I subtle. It's not subtle. <laughs> you can do more with animals than you could if you know uh, Prince Hans or whatever licks Elsa. Like you can't, you do, can't that. do that. You can't do no. that. It's so weirdly true. Exactly. They're just animals. All right. Bark. And the song that fools us into thinking these animals live in harmony. No. This is my favorite. I don't know. And the AV bite, major props for the layer in here. Yeah. The vocal background on this. No one knows what to be a This is actually true though. This is because we were like, what is this saying? What is no one knows what to be a <laughs> so we got uh, the, the composers. They got some singers who did the Broadway Lion oh, really? King in the background. Yeah. To really no, help it, that. It's fantastic, and actually, it's an amazing story because Lebo, who who came in uh, to Hans Zimmer's studio and actually wrote those Swahili words and sang it. Um, it, it, you know, it was just kind of amazing because he came in. We was he didn't know anything about the movie, and we explained him the story, and we said, "What you know, we need want this chanting thing happening here." And then he walked away, literally wrote down some words, came back, and and performed Does it. Does it, mean, it mean something in Swahili? Of course, or, absolutely. So, yeah, okay. it's not yeah. just, but he's not just going. Ooh, it ah, means ooh, exactly ooh, ah. what you said. <laughs> there. No one knows he, what we're saying. No one knows what. He's well, much. it's one of those things too, because I, I can't help but sing along, but I feel like I'm not loud because I don't. But I, you know, everyone does the ooh, because it's so wonderful. Inguyama, Inguinamabala. Ah, I think. Oh, there it is. Wow. So oh. One more time. Inguyama. Inguinamabala. That's exciting. Wow. All right. Yeah, that works. I probably could have Googled that, but that's way better to hear it from you. Yeah. No, there you go, the guys. Now you can sing along. Yeah. Don't make Google, it up. Google can be wrong. And if Google says something different, then Google's wrong. Yeah. Mm. We, got, we got the, we got the and actual. And you said it the, the pronounced way. It's if funny. I'm wrong, though, people are going to write to me. They're going <laughs> to oh, be like, what have you done to our language? Let's keep going. We're at our starring, and we're almost there. All right. Lion Jafar, Bird Sebastian, Ren and Stimpy, Ed, Ed and Eddie, Doomy Eyes, oh, Dad yeah. Vader, and Kimba the White Lion. <laughs> Seriously, look it up. The Lion King. Okay, we got yeah. uh, yes. yes. Kimba the White Lion. I gotta go. <laughs> I got my phone's ringing. Right? I didn't know, but then when we were no, writing, it, there was a whole bunch of people like, oh, come on. Some, no, no, no. So, uh, so no, it came up uh, in a big way, and uh, we, we were like, it was not, it was... Uh, the collective unconscious. I think it mm -hmm. was somehow it happens. we were we were, but there were more than a few uh, similarities, which of course was shocking and frightening. But right. uh, but it was as as far as I know, I, I it was not. You had nothing not to do with it. Yeah, yeah. No. Um, yeah, I didn't know. But sometimes, like, hey, Shakespeare only wrote like four plays that were all just copying over and over again. I feel like it's impossible to not accidentally do yeah, something like, from well, Deep Impact, Armageddon, <laughs> Volcano, Dante's Peak. Like people, it yeah. happens. It's <laughs> the universal lines. We have one more gag I we need to talk about. Oh, yeah. 
Wait, if Mufasa and Scar are the only male lions in the pride, then Nala's dad is probably... Oh, no. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Unfortunately, probably true. <laughs> but uh, so we don't Never like to talk up. about Speaking that. Speaking of Game of Thrones, Thrones. Yeah. lions don't have right. the same incest hang up that people do. Exactly. Right. No, we got into trouble. In fact, it was got, it got printed recently that, uh, that we said that Scar and Mufasa were not brothers, but they are. They I are. just want to clear that up, uh, just in case that hit your radar. Yeah, because they would, would typically be in different prides. Uh, typically in different prides, but, uh, you know, I, but for sure they grew up together. As we said, you know, he, how did he get that scar? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Scar was crashing on Mufasa's couch for a long time. <laughs> you know, he's just hanging out. Yeah, he seems like that type. Yeah. The, the, the couch crasher. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, any final questions for him, guys, that you can think of? That was so much fun. Thank you for doing it. Uh, sure. I mean, what's your how, now with the movie constantly always coming back? I mean, what is it? This it must be amazing to I mean be part of this movie. I you know it is hard to believe that it's it just it seems to keep going on and on. What's your favorite takeaway? Like when you go back and think about it, like is there one <clears throat> story you can share of like you'll never forget that that moment of wow. in the making of it? Well, you know, I think for us because when we were make, making the movie before it actually was finished, nobody kind of knew what it was. So you, we were following along a Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, and Aladdin, which were huge hits. Yeah, a lot of pressure a lot of pressure and people didn't know when we said we're, it's called the lion king they were like what's that um and in fact i remember t pitching it to a friend of mine and after i was done he says you know what's it called i said the lion king he says that's a terrible title <laughs> <laughs> well it, it worked sure. it worked yeah, it worked all right <laughs> it yeah. worked it worked, out okay. worked in many different facets across all media yeah. broadway everything and yeah were you involved in the broadway at all i mean they <clears throat> not, not directly you've seen except, it. of course yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, was there um, yeah, I remember going to the premiere, as a matter of fact, and that was 20 years ago. Wow, yes. Yeah. 20 years Still going ago. strong. They're, they're going to do a big 20-year reunion festival. And, there, and now John Favreau is bringing this back. I mean, yep. do you want to share any thoughts on that? Have you talked to him? <clears throat> I have. Uh, we, we actually uh, had lunch, and then he invited me to come to the studio, and I got to put on the VR goggles and fly around Pride Rock, which was very cool. I hope everybody gets a chance to do that, because it's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, very exciting. And, and I know they played the Circle of Life uh, at the D23 convention. I didn't get to see it, but I heard. Uh, people loved it. So. What is your feeling? I mean, like, if you could go back, do you still, like, no, it has to be animated? Like, do, what, what's your thought on this sort of live action animation world? I mean, if you had the technology today when you were back then, would you have chosen to try that way? I mean, I'm curious. It's interesting. I, you know, they're really two different, you know, forms. So, you know, in our, you know, animated version, obviously the characters come to life in a different way and they've obviously performed, they're more like people in a way. Um, so I think in a live action kind of mode, which of course will be done you know, with technology, um, they'll look more realistic so they won't, you know, have the same expressions, but I think it'll probably be more real in a way. So at the stampede, Mufasa's death, you know, probably is going to be, that's gonna be brutal. Yeah, be brutal. Oh, yeah, be I'm already preparing my unborn child for, <laughs> this is what death is, son. <laughs> no, I know, and this is how I learned. This is how you learned. It'll be interesting to see how they, they handle it. Actually, one of the things John said to me, he said, you know, if we made this movie today for the first time, he said, we never could have killed Mufasa in the middle of the movie, mm -hmm. you know? You can kill a parent at the beginning. Mm -hmm. In the first trail, like, finding Before you get kill attached. Them. Before yeah. you get attached. That's okay, but yeah. you can't get yeah. attached and then kill them. I mean, come on. You can only kill imaginary friends in the middle of a movie. Exactly. Uh, oh, really bing bong, right. don't yeah, do bing it. Bong. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta grow up. Anything exciting you're working on next that you can talk about? Uh, yeah, a couple different things. I'm working on a new animated movie called Wolf Totem, which is Ooh. about, which is actually about wolves in Mongolia. Oh, exciting. Cool. Yeah. All right, Sweet. great. And they, everyone can pick up Signature Collection on Blu-ray, digital combo today, uh, tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, uh, in stores uh, to check it out. Thank you so much for coming, Rob. This was so much fun to do it. And uh, I appreciate you humoring us and letting us play with your classic movie that honestly defined, I think, each of us. I yeah, mean, pretty much. it yeah. really did, like, was a crucial movie in my childhood uh, to sort of really learn about filmmaking and just animation. And so, bravo, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you. And thank you for a great Honest trailer. Thank you, and thank you all for watching. We'll be back hopefully with another fabulous. Who else? Who else wants to come in and watch their movie? He did it. You guys can do it too. Uh, very grateful to Rob. Check out the Blu-ray digital combo pack in stores. And thank you so much. To see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks again to T-Mobile for sponsoring today's episode. Check out what makes them America's best unlimited network at T-Mobile.com/coverage.